Welcome back, everyone, here. Map 2 in this two-game series between Nylum and SKDC for the SEVO MLG Season 7 Pro League continues now. I'm Helium. I'll be here all night, so don't worry about it. Not going anywhere. I'll be bringing you that Ace vs. Cloud9 matchup right after this. Wouldn't be surprised to see Cash in that either. And here we are into the pistol round. Nylum on CT side. SKDC picked this map, so relegated to the T side. And so far, things not going too well. Valens, Sanks, Valens, Valens will shred them apart. That'll leave Salemi all by himself. Semphis says, my team sucks. He dies. He's upset. It's only natural. Yeah, Valens, insane. Not usually the big fragger of this team. It was Sanks, Automatic, and Chaos before, but... I don't know, maybe they're holding Valens back, because he's done really well in the last match, and this one's starting off with a 3k on pistol. So I still expect Automatic and Sanks to go absolutely insane. Sanks will take out Automatic. Little, little upset that he didn't get a kill, and he wanted one, so he'll go negative one. Taking a hit to the score, just to see some blood. And we'll be paused, I'm not sure why. Ocean requests it, so it's something to, to go with SKDC here. And I did restart the stream, guys. Let me know if it's any better now that we've got in-game. Should be easy to tell. If it's not, sorry. Out of my control right now. If it's not better, guess what? The VODs are going to be pristine. Zero frame drop. 1080p on YouTube. YouTube.com slash PlaySevo. Check it out. Because that's where these VODs will be, and VODs currently are. It's a lot of work to manage a YouTube, actually. I've learned that. It's not too bad, but... Being consistent is annoying. Anyways, no one cares about that. Let's get into round number two. We've got submachine guns and two FAMAS out here on the deck. Spamming through that smoke, we'll take Ape and Rue down to 7 and 12, respectively. So they're lit, officially. And Hiko lurking around right under the vents here is in a really good spot to do some damage when they finally execute. Oh, he will be flashed big time. Sentus, though, is going to save him for the time being. Let him bit unblind. He'll peek out two for one. That looked like I got two for one with the FAMAS. I don't know if that is technically possible, but it sure looked like a two for one. Semphis will live with 6 HP, kept his buddy alive. Good teamwork there between Semphis and Hiko, shutting down that uh, full-on five-person B rush. And it'll be Nihilum again out to a good start here in map two. So last eco, well, not the last, but, you know, of the early stages of the game, that third round eco here for SKDC, since they weren't able to get the bomb, SKDC will push through and let L's know that every rose has its thorn. Some roses shoot bullets. I'll bring down another, and not a quite another. He'll get the assist there as Sanks will find Ocean. Someone's got into the toxic barrels near the shroud boost. Tico will kill Sanks. Just getting in the way at this point. And uh, coming through with that hypnotic MP9 spray. Will gun him down. And that's Nylon with three in a row. Couple TKs. What's going on? Says Automatic. I don't know why he's asking that in all chat. Because it's his own team that are killing each other. Both of my deaths are from my teammates. That sucks. That is, uh... I mean, it's like, yeah, you only lose 300 for a TK. It's not really, really a negative impact like it was before. But... That one person does still have to rebuy, so it is kind of a crap situation. Automatic. It's like maybe had enough of this little game. Let's see if Ape can do something here, or actually if his feet are gonna maybe be spotted by Sanks. Oh, oh. Trying to make each other dance, can only see the feet. Rue will bring down automatic. And that will actually give SKDC a very big advantage. They got the man advantage. Sanks is already very low. Automatic, finally, a death delivered by the enemy team. Semph is holding down B by himself. Generally, Hiko's role. Let's actually check out. Oh, thank you, Auto Director, reading my mind. Hiko is playing over in quad at A, so is kind of mixing it up. We'll see if he ever goes back towards B. And, well, trying to survive in the, uh, a little below the shroud spot there. It's not going to work out. 
Ocean finds Valens. Sanks with a nice op shot onto Rue as he tries to enter into A. Ocean, though, cleans him up. Takes him off that highway. Zephyrus and Hiko now left in this. Hiko just going to try to lurk, I think, as long as possible. Finally, he's spotted. Finds one, turns, gets two. That drops the bomb. And only 30 seconds on the clock. Now Semphis rotating over in a 1v1. Ape, though, is ready to check the corner, but Semphis wins the battle. Wins the one-on-one. -on -one. It is close. 2K for Hiko, 2K for Semphis. So the big stars, the new kids on the block, and the big stars show up in round four and grab the fourth win. And that throws SKDC back into a, well, eco scenario. A little over an eco. Not quite a force buy, but I, I like to draw the line for an eco at $3,000 equipment value. Maybe even drawing it at 4000 is okay. This is kind of arbitrary values, but I was just looking for a way to determine when to use it. The terminology between eco and force buy. But hey, now they're... Net worth shoots up as they've picked up the op onto Slummy. Slummy takes down Semphis. He's got a 2k on the round. Already took the op off of Sanks, who must have killed Rue earlier on. They've actually got themselves a really good shot here. Four on three. Both automatic and ape are very low. I'll go for the boost. And yeah, pretty uh, common that I've been I've been seeing this a lot. Teams will just boost up here, and then you execute on a site, and you're like, oh, like there's four people up, I see three. There's no way someone could be on the boost because there needs to be someone there to boost him. But if you just sit there and watch the back from on top of it, well, you can really catch people off guard in middle, and middle is very very important on cash. Balazo puts himself in an amazing spot. Ocean and Ellis kind of line themselves up. Ape will find the trade out, but it is Hiko coming on that rotate. Does have a flash armor and a kit up against Ape with... Well, okay, now he's got an A1S. Planting the bomb default. It's a very safe plant, but it is hard to defend. So he doesn't have very many options of where he wants to play. And honestly, might even just <laughs> opt to stay on the default plant. That's exactly what he does. And Hiko peeking wide, slowly even. Looking for an op, looking for an AK. Finds the op. And finds the defuse. So five in a row now for Nylum, although a lot of these have been close. So SKDC does definitely have some fight in them. And honestly, I mean, they almost ecoed them. Medium. Maybe we need late, medium, and large ecos. I don't know. I think the terminology needs to be expanded. That's all I'm saying. I would call that a, a medium eco. Uh, back in round four when SKDC got it into a one-on-one. -on -one. But the important thing is, well, or the, yeah, important either way, is they haven't won a round yet. So not good news for SKDC or their fans. Semphis actually finds L's. Not quite sure where that was. Symphys is the B player, right? Yeah, and now they're going to boost one up into vents, trying to get that mid control, or just a faster rotate over, because the bomb and three others for SKDC are working towards the A site. Valens is on a pretty pretty mean lurk right now. Hiko getting mollied out, and then mollied out again. Three mollies, fence, quad, and site, pushing them all the way back to highway. Sinks finds one, traded by Ape. And Semphis moving in. Bomb will go down by Ocean. Ocean only living about a second longer. Maybe heard one beep of the bomb. It's like music to a terrorist's ears. But he has denied that privilege. As Nihilum will move on and take six in a row now. Three surviving that time. Semphis with a 3k. Starting to uh, bolster up that economy a little bit. Not losing four people in that round. And actually, let's take a look through... Uh, okay, so domination on pistol round, domination on round two, domination on round three, and let's not even forget that round one and round three actually had four survive, but nine of them were killing each other for some reason. Kind of BM. Round four was the close one where SKDC almost won with the, the medium eco, and uh, round five extremely close as well into a 1v1. So round six starting to stabilize a little bit, and there's the history lesson if you're just joining us. All AKs and enough nades to take some sights or throw some fakes and take another sight for SKDC. Balance moves into the squeaky room, though, finds Rue. That's a 5 on 4 now for Nylum with a minute and 13 left.
And I feel like I'm seeing less complaints, so hopefully things have stabilized on the old frame rate issue. But again, if not, the VODs will be posted uh, later tonight. I'll start uploading them after North America finishes, so the wee hours of the morning, I suppose. But definitely by tomorrow. Sinks misses the first shot, comes back for another, takes off the head of Ocean, and that leaves now SKDC with a now two on four. Sunny will eventually find the trade, and the head of Sinks brings them both down, so mid is open. And maybe now Slummy and Ape with something to work with. Hiko, though, still watching the Z connector. Valens uh, pushing over in A main, trying to get some information. And Semphis holding down B. SKDC will move up highway. And actually, kind of going to get pinched in a mean crossfire here. The smoke might just be good enough. Valens, though, is still in a very dangerous position. Doesn't even take that first shot at Slummy. Waits to get a little more information. Gets Ape. And now that leaves Slummy all alone. He's busy battling someone else, and Hiko shoots him in the back. Three members survive. The same three members, actually, <laughs> survive once again. But keep in mind, Automatic has only actually died four times, not six. And Sapphire, Kelowna.com have won zero rounds, not seven, like Nihilum. Uh-oh. That pop flash was a bit poppy there from Ocean. <laughs> it got his own teammate. And the boost is mollied off anyway, so delaying things up there. And actually, how did aggressive did they get? Pretty aggressive automatic. Oh no, that was still headshot box. So not aggressive really at all. Towards the middle. Terrorist actually with pretty good control sinks. Oh my gosh, I think that was a team. That was the team pop flash that grabbed Rue in the face and Hiko <laughs> splattering the brains of Ape all over the white box. It's not very white anymore. Automatic lived with one HP there. Nylum now eight rounds in a row. This is getting a bit one-sided. Perhaps SKDC... Maybe they got a really good CT side, because at this point, they're going to need it. And to be honest, yes, Nihilum's already won the half, but if SKDC strike back now, I mean, 8-7's still possible, right? 10-5, still possible. They even made a bit of a comeback after a 12-3 uh, half on Dust2. So we know that they got it, but I don't know. I, w I would say Cash is even more aim-mappy than Dust2 is. And right now, Nihilum is just hitting their shots. Ape's going to open it up, Sempis. Actually, it's really the crossfires more than anything that are, are doing it. Rue does find Valens, and that was Rue lurking over in middle. He'll peek out to find another. Brings down Automatic, and this could be it. It's a two-on-two -two situation. Yes, they have a Galil. Yes, Ocean has 10 HP, but pretty decent shot. The first decent one in the last couple rounds. Rue opens that one up. Two-on-one. Only Sempis. He's already killed two people, though. Can he get two more? If he does, he'll actually ace. No, just kidding. Rue was about to actually ace, but Ape had already got one. My mistake. As uh, Rue and Ocean will survive, and they win the first round. So SKDC, they finally do it. And we know, like I said, a lot of these have been close. Round five and round four in particular. So we know that they can still win these rounds. They finally get one there with two members surviving in round nine. They've got an op for AKs right now. Sanks still has an op, so maybe we'll get uh, to see Slummy versus Sanks in the ring. And actually, I think we will. Over the boost and the other in Z connector, Hiko. They've actually really been mixing up who plays under the vents. We've seen Hiko there. We've seen Semphis there. Semphis will rotate first, this time leaving Hiko alone. As the bomb is on Ocean over towards the middle. Just throwing a pop flash, trying to keep Sanks' attention a little longer, but Automatic getting bored, pushes through, brings down Rue, and Nylon find themselves in a 5-on-4. Oh, right, series score. Apologies. Sometimes... When you're all alone, you forget some things. Series score now updated to reflect that Nylum won the first map, thus two of their choice. And they're looking pretty good to get the second one here, Cash. That was SKDC's choice. That nade might just do it. Does. Touchdown for Semphis. Slemmy the last one alive right now. Still trying to peek out A main. Still trying to find some kills. Sees some flying counter-terrorist feet. They belong to Semphis. 
Jumping accuracy on weapons is fine in this game, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's totally okay. Five seven also totally balanced. So is the Tech Nine, and Els has one of those. Maybe he can get something done with that. B gonna be smoked off for the time being. Sempus with a spam through. We've seen a lot of spray downs through the smoke there on that corner of B in the uh, NA games, even a couple times in EU. See, Hiko gets one already. Semphis has finally fallen. Slummy's actually been able to push through already. Ocean drops the bomb into Checker. It'll be up to Ape to pick it up, but Automatic says no. Jumps through the vents, brings him down. And now we've got Slummy on the run. And Automatic will gun him down. So three members survive here. Nihilum 10 to 1. And, uh, well, the first map, you know, they actually did struggle a little bit to close it out. And we actually were at this point on uh, Dust 2 as well, with Nihilum leading 10 to 1. This is about the time where SKDC got a few rounds together, and then they did all right in the beginning of the second half. But I, I think it's going to be tough. I don't, oh! Watch for those, those invisible corners. They'll get you. Nice spray down there from Hiko as he peeked out the vents. First time uh, SKDC's really boosted over mid in a while. And it gets shut down immediately. They do have three smokes remaining. Galil onto Ocean. And it's five on four. Now four on four. The Galil actually opens up with a kill there, but automatic to trade it out. And when you got the man advantage and you're trading even, well, that's pretty good because the numbers are getting less. You're getting closer to the win and you're still keeping your man advantage. What's not to love? So a good scenario for Nihilum. Automatic, though, is a little low, but you can still do some damage. Actually getting op through the wall there. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how long that's been bugged out. I just looked for the HP, and HP ammo is not there. I'm not sure what's going on. So tune your attention to the right and left sides of the screen for those HP values. Ape here at 50. I'll try to fix that in a little bit. I see some tweets coming in. Maybe it's about that bugging out. <laughs> Everyone's been there, trying to trying to get into the site, trying to throw a pop flash, trying to look cool, end up blinding yourself and getting killed by Hiko. Okay, maybe not everyone's been there, getting killed by Hiko, but I know I have blinded myself more than once and died for it. Valens with that nade in. I'm thinking he wants to get a little aggressive here. They'll molly up the boost. And actually, once that goes away, they might be boosting over here. Yeah, they'll send automatic up. Pop flash from Hiko. Chef is to walk through that smoke. I'll throw another one for some reason. Automatic going to get down Rue. Rue is watching the flank here, and they're trying to bust through Sanks, the wall that is Sanks with a 5-7. They finally do, and the rotation is all here. Locked in the smoke is Ape with 14. He might actually get another. He does! Balance is like, yo, shoot me in the back. But it doesn't matter. Nihilum, now we're going to be leading by 11. 12 to 1. Only a couple more rounds remaining in the half. And like I said at the start, the story tonight is probably going to be Nihilum and Cloud9 go for a brisk walk in the park and everything is fine. But it is always fun to, to root for the underdogs to witness the upset that it does not look like SKDC are going to be able to deliver. Who knows who's even going to show up for Ace Gaming. So that's almost a story in itself, who's going to show up for Ace Gaming. That's a story I plan on reading. Ocean finds Valens out here. Ooh, Slummy pushing up there on the highway real, real quick, getting through that wall of smoke. 
I don't know if Ape realizes Semphis gets out, but he actually hears it. Hiko's there for the trade, and Rue gets Hiko, and SKDC will find another round. Is it really going to be the exact same half at score? And again, to reiterate, there is a big difference between 13-2 and 12-3. Both kind of suck, but one of them is way worse. I'll let you figure out which one is worse. I guess it depends which team you are, but we'll go with the team that is losing. Oh, yes. This is the man I want to watch. And I kind of want to just keep the camera on him regardless of what happens. But Sanks already killing people in mid with his Hyper Beast. I voted for that like months ago. I feel like I should just get one. I'm responsible for it being in the game. And I should get one for free. That's how the workshop should work. If you're like an early adopter, it's really like Kickstarter. If you're an early adopter to uh, uploading a skin, you should get it for free. Anyway, Sanks and Semphis gunning people down. That'll leave Ape and Els. Well, they've... No, they've not quite gotten to the B site. Hiko is still here. And he will not be easily pop-flashed. Sanks now working in towards the vents. And actually, the bomb is down over here towards uh, that first crate. Hiko will gun him down. Or maybe Ocean did pick it up, but... Hiko and Sanks, just like that. They'll end it real quick. So 13 to 2 is the half. And I would I would say just about insurmountable. SKDC has done alright on the pistols. So maybe they get it and it can extend their life a little bit longer in this two game series. But I don't know, man. It'll have to be a bit of a miracle for SKDC to bring this one back. Looks like still waiting on somebody. I'm assuming everything's okay now with the, the stream. I've seen the flurry of complaints in the chat go away, uh, so it must be better. As we wait for Ape and Ocean to ready up here for SKDC, trying to finalize that, uh, that sick pistol strat. But we can take a look at the stats in the meantime. Let's see, who's the... Who's the clutch king? Got Semphis with uh, 1v1, 1vx. Those are kills on clutch attempts when you won. So he must have clutched. Hiko clutched a couple times. 15 kills for Semphis. 1 4k for Rue. And 1 4k for Hiko. But here we are. Let's uh, get back into it. Pistol round of the second half. Don't face pistol rounds much more important than this. If you're SKDC and you're trying to bring it back to find yourself a point in the Sevo MLG Season 7 Pro League. One map equals a point. You win them both, you get two. You tie, each team gets one. And it's a round robin. Every team plays each other once. Top three and NA go to the land. Top three and EU go to the land. And here we go. Sanks exploding out of the door. Finds L's. Rude to bring down Sanks on the trade. Ocean. Defending on the highway, and Rue once again really showing up here on this first round. Finally, he's brought down by Automatic. Switches to Burst, and close range finds Slemmy. And that leaves Ocean all alone. Semphis with the quick peeks will shut him down. Personal 300 bucks for Automatic on Bomb Plant after the round win. And just like that, Pistol goes to Nihilum, who surely now will be taking this map. There was any doubt. And already, I mean, you're, you're in that position where you're SKDC, and that's why a 13-2 half is so brutal, because you lose the pistol round, but you're still in a position where you have to buy to win. If you're truly confident, and maybe you planted the bomb, well, there, or defuse the... Uh, yeah, there's no hope, really, for CT side. A little more flexibility if you're on the terrorist side, or if you lost, planted the bomb, you can still buy 
uh, or a save and then buying the third one for the tie. But in this case, like you're, you're forcing up completely, but they've done a good job. They've already killed Semphis. They've already killed Valens, but it's still going to be tough. Hiko tanks an automatic. Still alive. And they're going to go back towards A main. They'll leave automatic lurking around at the white box. And they go 2-2 two, two on the side of SKDC. We got Ocean and Quad. So let me... What does he have? A 5-7 at that range just does not strike me as the most dangerous. Ocean, though, finds Sanks, and now it's just Automatic and Hiko in a 2v4 with all the rotations coming over to the site. Automatic is going to get done down, gunned down. A nice time to peek for Ocean, setting up a distraction, and he uh, works himself around that forklift. Taking the plant there, though, is Hiko, and Hiko's still going to try to go for this, but L's having picked up the AK, will be able to gun him down in SKDC. They force up four the win right there and they look at the round their life continues and probably going to get another round or two since nylum is so poor but nylum with many rounds to work with says screw it tech nine armor let's go let's get it right back maybe a little worrying though because ape takes the mp7 ocean with the p90 and those submachine guns i mean buffed pretty much explicitly to deal with pistols i always worry when uh, I see the matchup, but there are three rifles there. A little more vulnerable to the running gun of those pistols. I don't enjoy having to say running gun when casting CS, but that's where we are. Molly at the door to slow them down a little bit. But here they go, flashes out. He go really, really blind. Gonna have to hang back for a second. Rue, though, is dinked. Valens is trying to plant. They'll hear the plant. He's on 12 HP. Somehow survives all the spam. Goes down just after he finishes planting it. So they will get the bomb down. They will get some money. Rue shuts down Automatic's flank. And now you've just got Hiko alive. Sending out a smoke towards Fort. Rue going to move in close. We'll find Hiko. And all they got to do now is defuse. Well, okay, someone's already on the bomb. It was planted over on the forklift side. So that explains why Hiko went over that way. 14 to 4 now, SKDC. This is like basically a mirror of what happened on the first map. Nihilum wins the half. Can't quite close it out, and SKDC start getting rounds on the other side. Oh my god. The three deagles. Let's see what Sinks can do with the Deagle. Maybe just saw the head there, and actually another Molotov goes up. That's going to... Sinks burns to 21 HP. And it looks like the uh, HUD decided to come back. So Sinks lives, did a little bit of damage to Rue. Tempest, though, turns, takes off the head of L's, though down to 12 HP himself. Now Ocean going to move in and just clean up. He's going to mop the floor of that checker room. He finds two, just like that. Ape in the sight, holding back, watching those tight angles. Gets two, finds three, actually. So locking it down, 3K for Ape. Ocean started it off with the 2K over there in checker. And that's round five for SKDC. But Nylum now on round 20, finally enough money in the bank to purchase up some weapons. So AK and armor coming out on round 20. Lylam only need two rounds to finish out the series 2-0. And that'll send us off. Well, actually, what time is it? A, maybe a bit of a waiting game uh, to get to the Ace vs. Cloud 9 two-game series at 11.15 p.m. Semphis to Ocean. Slemmy gets Semphis. So the trade is made over there in the squeaky room. And uh, counter boosting over middle is Rue. You can see it on the x-ray there from Pico's perspective. Pico's locking down Sunroom. So playing B. Waiting for a CT to maybe rotate this way. Rue, meanwhile, getting another, playing really well here. Hiko opens up the B site, but unfortunately the bomb is down in A main and under control of the CTs. 
First person on the scene will be Valens, and he can't even step out of the squeaky door. Slummy guns him down, finds a 2k on the round as well. Hiko now by himself. And it looks like Rue in a really good position to gun him down, unaware. So 3k for Rue. And uh, almost at the top of the scoreboard once again. So coming in, standing in for SKDC and doing a really good job. Looks like his former team of boots to asses taught him well. Again, a deagle for Sanks. Some upgraded pistols and some armor for Nihilum as they can't quite get out to that 15th and 16th round. Struggled on Dust 2. Doing it again here. Semphis, though, maybe going to make a play with the Tech 9. Brings down Rue, who's been a bit of a problem, actually. Looks like Ocean has brought Hiko down pretty low. But now Ocean's got to really worry about his highway side. Slummy's there to help, but Sanks has taken out the support of Slemmy. That's going to isolate a lot of people, but Slemmy brings it back with the spray down. Ape rotates over from B, finds Valens. And now everything is uh, back in control for SKDC in a three on two right now. The bomb not quite scooped up yet. It's Sempus near the bomb. It's actually under the molly. He'll grab it. And bring down Ocean. Gets to the vents. He'll have to deal with Ape. Ape playing in heaven over here. But Sempus is not going to be so predictable. He does have a lot of time to work with, so he can try to fake him out. He can he can get a player at A, a player at B. So that'll isolate his 1v1s at least. But they're not even going to move. They're just still staying together over here in middle. So kind of aiming for the retake. But it actually is going to pan out. Sempis will walk straight into both of them. So the mind games do not work. And SKDC will have their seventh round, so now Nihilum is only winning two to one. Which is a big improvement from, what was it at one point? Oh, at the worst case, I think it was 11, maybe 12, 13 to one. I don't know, let me do the math. Yeah, 12 to one was the worst case. So at, at one point it was a 12 to one lead. Now we're down to two to one. And SKDC have done a really good job so far on the CT side, but will it? No, maybe not. I thought it was going to maybe fall apart if Ape just let go of the site, but he finds one kill, finds two, drops the bomb to checker, gets the third kill. Can he find the fourth? Full blind once more. Help is coming in. Valen's actually lurking around in the middle. Will find Ocean. Hiko got Ape. And here's Rue ending the, the round with a 2k. Now SKDC moving out to eight rounds, and the brisk walk in the park is getting a little intense. There's some shadows. Nyla, maybe a little fear of the dark. This could be this could be it. This could be the answer. Els takes some damage spammed by the AK, but he's got a scar twenty. That was a terrifying weapon, and that can just break the morale of your opponents. Automatically, it gets into a great spot. Might not expect two, so he finds Slummy, but there is still someone lurking around beside him. Hiko's already moved into Checker. I don't know if they know this. Rue looks like he's aiming in his direction. The bomb, though, is going to A. It's just Hiko trying to, and he actually is just pinning two people in B. Now we'll see the rotation of Rue coming over. Sanks, though, and Semphis, Ocean, and L's fall. Five on two now. Nylum, wow, dominant performance around. They were like, all right, we're done. Uh, we're done talking. We'll finish this map. And Automatic's got himself a Scar 20 in hand. Ape, the last one alive. Semphis shooting his teammate. Why not? And uh, Ape and the Z connector looking for anybody at this point. But I think Semphis is going to find him first. Ape, though, is ready for it, but misses the shot close range. Semphis with the final kill. And yet again, I feel like... If Semphis is getting kills, he gets at least three every round. So 3k there for round 15. And, well, if they win this, that's it. Finally, a match point is Nylon. Took them a while to get there. It was actually six rounds in a row for SKDC after they ecoed. And I believe they even ecoed the second round and the second half on both maps. Which is kind of crazy. Nylon looks to be going fast A main. Kiko once again lurking over at B, so doing the same thing. Hoping it'll 
work again. Seems like a reasonable strategy. And it looks like it might work again. The mollies go out. No one's at quads even push. And Sanks has already killed Slemmy. Three people towards B in mid. The only person in A is Ocean. And he better do a damn good job defending it. He does nothing. Not given an opportunity. One versus four. It is a bit much to ask for. And Hiko on the lurk guns down the rotators. That'll leave Ape. Or at least some of the rotators. He actually was out towards middle. Ape over at B now. Tries to go back with a battle up against Semphis. And he cannot win that. He will fall. And Nylum will take it 16 to 8. So that's that. Nylum take it 2 0. SKDC, though, rallying uh, in the second half of both maps and making, I would say, a bit of a game of it. Uh, but definitely Nylum looking very, very strong. They're up there for sure in uh, contention for the best. North American team, and I mean, really, there's a discussion to have, right? Who is it? Is it CLG? Is it the new Luminosity? Is it Cloud9? Is it Team Liquid? Is it Nylum? I mean, even Elevate doing pretty damn good. There's a, a lot of questions. Also, I don't even think I said Cloud9. There's a lot of teams out there, and Tempo Storm as well. They've got two decisive wins uh, in Sevo Season 7 Pro League as well. I mean, we're just going to have to see. we got a ton of leagues to watch. This is one of many uh, across the world and in North America. So hopefully you'll keep watching, guys. We do have one more series coming up in about 30 minutes at 11.15 p.m. Eastern. We'll have Ace Gaming versus Cloud9. We'll get to see, one, who shows up for Ace Gaming. So that's the first bonus. Maybe we can just take bets on that. And uh, then we get to see Cloud9. Uh, Will Skadoodle just uh, ace Ace Gaming with his op every single round. Probably not on pistol, uh, but always good to see if Skadoodle is on form and performing for the team as that new dedicated opper. Some say he's the best, and uh, I don't know. We'll be back soon, but before I go, just again, I'm Helium. You can find my Twitter there, uh, at Heliumbrella. It is a solo cast tonight. Everyone was out of, I'll pretend we have a studio, out of the studio. So it was just me here tonight. So let me know how I did. I do enjoy solo casting actually i got a lot of experience with it from dota and then of course coming over to cs go it's i don't know i don't know but all right guys continue watching we'll be back in 30 minutes with ace gaming versus cloud nine